What's up you guys? Nathan Bell here doing another Star Wars The Black Series review on Captain Phasma from The Force Awakens. I am really excited to do this review, man. I actually just found this in store a couple days ago and I liked it so much I had to grab two. So I'm going to do a review with this one and display it and then I'm going to keep one box and store that away. So she's looking pretty badass so far. But before we get into the figure, let's take a quick look at the accessories she came with. So she comes with a blaster, and at first sight I thought it was the same exact blaster that comes with the first Order Stormtrooper from Series 1, but it is not. It is a lot bigger. As you can see, there's a little comparison, man. Just huge. Looks like it's got, like, the same barrel, but then, um, and, like, you know, the same midsection and stuff right there, the same scope, but it's, this one has a stock on it, so. And I like the color choices. I like the goldish. It's kind of like a silverish color, too, but I think it's more or less gold. Then, like, the, the black and gold looks really nice, but quick look at those. Then here's from the other side. The only bummer about it is, is that she doesn't have a trigger hand, so she can't really put her finger up near the trigger. So that's a bummer, but it's not a big deal. Close up of that. Focus a little bit. Very nice, man. It's got some nice sculpted textured lines in the back. Going throughout. Very cool. So here is Captain Phasma. And, uh, man, I was so excited for this. I actually thought that they were going to use the same body mold as the First Order Stormtrooper, but I was wrong. This thing is massive, dude. Um, the actor is actually 6'3", and a lot of people were kind of kind of mad about it when they got this figure. Like, oh, she's too big. She, she's taller than, than Kylo Ren, which um, I'll do a comparison at the end of the video. And this figure is a lot taller, which it shouldn't be because Adam Driver is I is 6'2 and a half. And then, um, uh, I can't remember her name right now, but she is 6'3", and there's quite a a big difference for the action figures, but once like once again, I don't think that's such a big deal. So she does look like a stormtrooper, but there is different uh, sculpted parts. Like right here, that's a different pad in the front. I believe some of the arms have different uh, different sculpted lines on it. I mean, I can do a quick comparison. You can just see how, oh, uh, dude, she just is huge compared to a normal stormtrooper, which I think she should be just because of her the, the height of the actor. So I actually. <laughs> Oh, this is funny, man. I stepped on him and I snapped his arm right off. I was so pissed about it, but what are, what are you going to do, you know? But you can just see how some of it's kind of the same, but they just made these bigger. So it has a lot of the same parts, but they just, uh, they made them a lot bigger than just the, you know, the average Stormtrooper armor. So on the front, you can just see how it's got like the same little sculpted lines. Up here, this is a little different, or I think it's the same. This is just painted not very good. You see that black line, but it does look like it has the same sculpted uh, little kind of like a rectangular looking thing right in the center. And then over here it's got some little squares right there that are sculpted on the midsection with the belt. It's got a bunch of patches in the back and it's got that. So kind of hard to see on camera but that's not painted black like a stormtrooper is so that's not a peg hole. And I don't know what those are. Just some more slits at the back. A little pouch in the back. So you can see how the belt is black and that goes all the way around and then it stores all of her pouches. Her leg, this holds her blaster. Let me just bring that back in. So you just pop that right in there, if I can, I think I'm doing this right, yep. So that pops in just like that. That, that uh, gold and silver match is really good, I think it looks really badass, sorry about that. Then she has her cape, um, this is, she's taller than the cape, so that's good. It won't ever get in the way like the uh, Marvel Legends Thor they just released, that kind of bummed me out, man. You can't really get them to stand up without the cape kind of touching the ground like that. And that's like a, that's pretty pliable, man, it's not really too stiff, you can bend it. And it does have some nice ruffles in it. You can see some little pieces right here. That looks like kind of like uh, like a tie-off or something, man. Like maybe this in the movie, it like stre uh, stretches around and then it ties off in the front. And her helmet is badass. I like that a lot. The helmet came out really clean. Like I said, for the other Stormtrooper, it's got these little detailed lines in the mouth. And then it's got like a little kind of shape up there with some, some holes in it. I don't know if maybe that's like a breathing thing. I'm not sure. Let me double check with the Stormtrooper to see if he has one. Yeah, he has them too, so it's kind of hard to just pick up, but you can kind of see them just a tiny bit. The, the visor is painted very clean. I like the uh, the detailed lines on her helmet that go front to back. That's kind of what, uh, that's the difference between the helmets. And then, you know, of course, the, the bottom piece of the Stormtrooper helmet is that she has these lines going across. So very cool. And uh, yeah, man, the boots are definitely different. You see how they're black and then they have these like metal armor pads. Going over it, her knee pads right there, and then of course underneath all this armor she has that black textured bodysuit. Um, I don't really know what to call that right now. Her pouches on this side have different colors. You can see how it's got the black with the silver. Looks very nice, man. So let's do some figure comparison with other Black Series figures that I've recently reviewed. So here she is uh, next to Kylo Ren, and you can just see the height difference, man. It's pretty massive. Um, I don't think it's going to be like that in the movie. It might be because, I mean, she's an armor... 
he's kind of in these, these cloth, you know, capes kind of. So it could be man, but like I said before, Adam Driver six two and a half, and uh, the actor that plays Captain Phasma is six three. And here she is next to the First Order Stormtrooper. And I think they scale very well together. I think that Captain Phasma should definitely be taller than the First Order Stormtroopers. That's my review, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.